Now that we have looked at waves and the equation that describes the wave individually, this question explores what happens when you have more than one wave happening at the same place at the same time. So in a very rough sketch, if you have, say, a wave that looks like this, and then you have another wave that looks like that, when they both happen on, say, the same string, what you see is that the two of them would stack up, still go in the same direction. And as a result, the shape of the wave seems to have changed, and we call that interference. It's like the two waves is messing with each other. But the funny thing is, the shape turns out exactly like that because the waves themselves don't interact with each other. They simply add up, and that's a result of the way the mathematics work out. But it leads us to this fancy thing we call the principle of superposition. Superposition refers to how if you have two waves and you want to find out the total height, all you have to do is simply add them up. The presence of the one wave doesn't affect the way the other wave works. You simply add up the two results and you're good to go. And this would work even if you have a sinusoidal harmonic wave that repeats itself forever and ever. And it'll also work if these two waves go in different direction, as you can see from the plus sign and the minus sign. If you want the total height at a particular time, all you have to do is to add up the two separate waves separately. So let's do that. For wave number one, it just becomes an exercise of subbing numbers in at this point. Given that we have our x value and our time value, so this becomes 4 plus 9 plus power 3. Put in the sine function, make sure you use radians though, not degrees. Then you should get something like that. For y2, very similarly, we have the same space and the same time. So that's 8 minus 18. Being negative is completely fine. And you get that. So with this 2 here, we get the total by summing them up to get even though the words sound fancy, interference, superposition, the underlying idea is actually quite intuitive. And it's really the simplest way these things combine together. Now, of course, if these two waves happen to have similar frequency and therefore wavelength, etc., there could be special patterns that get set up, and we will look at that more in class.